ったねー。Right,、uh, so today's episode is actually a follow up to the previous episode of the FEMO book A2. We're gonna do the particle analysis of the FEMO book A2 using the methods that we've used in the past,、um, past grinders.、Um, so we're gonna try and keep everything as consistent as before. The amount of time that The grinder is going to take to grind 15 grams. We're also going to check、um, for the medium fine grind size, which is equivalent to Commandante 24, 23 clicks, somewhere there. Yeah, so basically, we're just going to check for the particle distribution of the FEMO book A2. All right, so I have medium roast coffee here, which I've always used. So, the things that we're gonna need is right, your FEMO book A2, coffee, the Kruv sifter, a scale, a couple of sorting trays, and a brush. Brush is very important. Now that we have everything that we need to check for the particle distribution of the FEMO book A2, the only thing left is this. Something to write on. Oh, I almost forgot. We're also g o n n a need this. This is my ultra sensitive、uh, scale. So I'm g o n n a weigh 15 grams of that. So it says here for pour over, it's 50 to 80 clicks. My zero right now is at number three. So one rotation is 40, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is 50.、Um, we're gonna set it to 60. So let me just put in my coffee. Now we're gonna time it. And. Right. So the FEMO Book A2 has an auto stop feature. So, when it senses that there is no coffee beans left or coffee bean left,、um, it will stop on its own. And that is one minute and 12 seconds.、So、we're gonna put it here. 15 grams is one minute and 12 seconds. Slightly longer than the P2 and the Q Air. Okay, so for the Commandante, it's about 37 seconds to finish 15 grams. Right, so the Q Air、um, can grind 15 grams of coffee at 47 seconds, while the FEMO Book A2 finishes a 15 gram dose at 1 minute and 12 seconds. Right, now we're gonna check for boulders, mids, and then fine particles. Right, now. We have the Kruv sifter right here, and we're gonna put the coffee grounds from. We're gonna shake the Kruv sifter for 30 seconds. I think I'm gonna need a bigger scale for this. So that you will be able to see. All right. So first, we're gonna wait for. The boulders.、Mm. The boulders initially they look quite uniform. Maybe there are two to three different grind sizes here. So, for those of you who don't know,、um, I've set the Kruv sifter. So, the first sieve is 1100 microns, it lets in anything below 1100 microns. To go under. And then for the second sieve, I'm using a 300 micron sieve so that we filter out all the micro fine particles. Surprisingly, it's not crushing it's not crushing the silver skin as well, just like a Commandante. And I love it because some grinders they would grind the silver skin as well. So it gets lost. In the particles, and then you're actually brewing it. 
um, with this, with the FEMA Book A2 as well as the Commandante C40, you have the option basically to take out the silver skin if you don't want it. So the brush that I'm using now is an anti-static brush. So if you're worried that it's going to catch some coffee grounds, it's not. This is a brush made specifically for coffee. We have, I think the fan is affecting the scale. There. So we have 10.3. That is quite a lot. Now we're gonna check for the mid size. Oh no. This is quite a dilemma <laughs> that we're in right now. You know why? Because we have 5.4 grams, which means we are over 15 grams already. I think I'm gonna need to weigh the boulders again. So I'm gonna check for the boulders again. There, I knew it. The first measurement was not correct, so I had to redo the boulders, which gives us 9.7 grams only. That leaves us with very little microfine particles. Look at that. Look at that. There's very little microfine particles here. But definitely this goes to the ultra sensitive scale. Okay, we're still calibrated at 20 grams. We're gonna do this very, very carefully. Wow. So we have 0 0.084. We're gonna try and add those up. 9.7 plus 5.4 plus 0 0.084. Ooh, and we end up with 15.1, which is almost exactly 15 grams. So we have very little to no retention on this grinder at all. Let me go check. Yeah, there is a bit of retention. Okay, look at that. And under here. Um, remember from the previous episode, we cleaned this grinder, so it actually does not have anything on it. What do we do with the data that we have right now? So we have 9.7 boulders. Um, we have 5.4 mid-size. The mid-size is your um, intended size. In this case, I think the intended size would be the boulders. The particle distribution um, dictates how your coffee will taste like. Let's say for a Comandante, a Comandante has more mid-size, then next is a bit of boulders and then very little fine particles. So that means you have a lot of flavor. The majority of the particle from the Fimo Book A2 is from your boulders. With very little fine particles, you have very little chance to over extract your coffee, number one. You have very little chance or very little risk of astringency. And then your mid-size will simply give you the sweetness of the coffee. So the coffees out of the Fimo Book A2 are very clean. Um, they're not very complex, but they are very clean with high clarity. Obviously, because of the particle distribution, basically, we only have two major brackets. So you have very little fine particles. 
majority of the boulders are very consistent if you look at this again they look a lot the same to each other they don't have a lot of variance among them even more so if you look at the midsize you see they're very very uniform so if you compare this to other here you look at the p2 the p2 you have very little boulders 2.6 grams only with the majority of the particle distribution is your mid-size 11.6 so here the time more c3 15 grams you have very little fine particles 0 0.3 but your mid-size is still greater than your boulders i want to see the commandante the commandante also, the majority is on your boulders, less on the midsize, but not a big difference. So the boulders of the Comandante C40 is 8.2 with the midsize of 6.8. So they're not very far apart as compared to the FEMA book A2, which is almost half. That's crazy. But yeah, having learned the particle distribution of the FEMA book A2, I am more impressed at how they engineered the burr sets of the FEMA book A2. I think that's it for this episode. In the next video, we better make the conversion chart for the Comandante so that we can do direct comparison of the particle distribution. Yeah, that is the next best step that we can do is to create its conversion chart for us to be able to like compare it directly to other grinders. For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!